So, Professor Chakraborty, uh, what could be the reason uh, that uh, ISRO delayed the Chandrayaan 2 mission? Well, uh, ISRO has not actually <coughs> spelled it out um, uh, in detail. They said about one hour before the um, uh, before the launching time, they said that uh, uh, it, there is a technical snag. Now, normally, and they also mentioned that it would take at least 10 days because the liquid fuel has to be, uh, there is supposed to be a liquid fuel leakage and at least 10 days because the liquid fuel has to be taken out of the tank and then the tank has to be repaired and then the liquid fuel has to be put back and then it, is, it has to be brought to the launch pad. So it, is, it will take a long time. It seems to me that there could be some leakage and uh, there could be, as you know, there are solid rocket boosters and as well as there are liquid um, uh, propellants, okay, liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen. So what could have happened is that um, mm, uh, most likely the, uh, there are two stages in the rocket and the, at the junction, from the junction, there is some leakage of liquid hydrogen or liquid oxygen is going on. And if that is taking place, then they are highly inflammable and therefore they will, be, uh, they will catch fire and then ultimately there will be a big explosion. So it is, it is better that ISRO has postponed this uh, event. What would happen if ISRO uh, went ahead? Uh, is it okay? You know, the, what happened is that uh, between two stages, there is, a, there is a, a, an O-ring, there is supposed to be an O-ring. We call a rubber, a rubber ring, which is uh, connecting between two stages. It is very similar to the rubber ring that you, observe, you see in a pressure cooker. Okay, there is a pressure cooker bottom and there is a top and there is a rubber ring there. And that job of that ring is possibly, um, is to make sure that there is no leak, leakage of the pressure that is developing inside the pressure cooker. And only when the pressure is high, then the whistle you can see, you can hear the whistle only from the center of that lid. So, and if there is a o-ring is leakage, if o-ring is not sitting properly, then all this pressure will be released well ahead of time and your food will never be cooked, okay. Here also, my feeling is that the o-ring is causing problem and and if there are two stages, uh, two stages and there is a huge vibration when it is launching actually starts mm -hmm. and during the vibration process the o-ring has to ensure that there is still no leakage even during the vibration. So if the o-ring is not sitting properly then it will not be able to ensure that they, they, there is no vibration and therefore naturally um, there will be um, you know leakage and there will be explosion uh, earlier, uh, as you know, uh, 1986, uh, in January 29, the Challenger, Challenger Space Shuttle uh, had a disaster. Challenger exploded because of the fact that the O-ring was so cold during January uh, temperature that it was it became very hard and it did not properly close down the close the you know two stages of the rocket. And because of the fact that when the vibration started. The, uh, it started leaking the fuel and that fuel got fired and it got it exploded within one and a half minutes okay so my suspicion uh, suspicion is that um, I suspect that uh, if the issue actually went ahead then uh, very within one and a half minutes or so or two minutes um, uh, before the ro solid rocket booster actually transfers all its job to the liquid propellant and then uh, the liquid propellant takes over from the stage one to stage two there would be some kind of explosion and the whole uh, whole mission could have been uh, yeah, damaged irreparably and I think that a huge loss and the huge amount of expectation etc would have done, would have taken place so it is prudent for ISRO to actually calling off this uh, mission. What would be the next slot when this Chandrayaan 2 would be launched? Uh, you see the next slot means the ISRO naturally wants to be very cautious. Already, as you know, the Chandrayaan 2 has been delayed many, many times. Yeah. From 2003, 13, 13 onwards, yeah. six years, they have been very cautious. And so, I am not surprised that they are cautious one more time. And uh, as I said, that it is, could be very uh, real, real uh, reason. There could be real reason for this delay. Now, 
given the fact that the rover is supposed to observe for about 14 days or the, the, you know observe uh, do the experiments on the lunar surface for 14 days the latitude and longitude of the landing area um, must be such that on the day they were supposed to land namely 6th of September they would be getting the first sunlight and after that 14 days consecutive they would be getting the sunlight and therefore the rover would be functioning for 14 days okay but now that uh, the, this is about then the next time ISRO can try is again another after 28 days okay so that uh, this one instead of landing on Radha Ostomi on 6th of September it is going to land on Durga Ostomi okay on 5th of October so uh, it is a question of you know which God ultimately uh, gets the uh, opportunity uh, to uh, uh, have our lander but my feeling is that before 28 days uh, it is not possible to launch unless they change the orbits uh, drastically okay if they reduce the number of orbits uh, number of orbits around the moon etc probably one or two days ahead of uh, before that they can do it but I don't see any reason they have they are in a hurry so I would I would believe that they would possibly have the similar slaughter window another 28 days and if that also fails that yet another 28 days after okay yeah not before it is not going to be next two weeks my feeling is uh, many many thanks to you uh, thank you very much thanks thank you